just forgot the date. Hold on, let me check. Okay, it's March 5th, 2023. We just did a video on hand pollinating common pawpaw Asimina triloba flowers. And now here we have a small flower pawpaw. Can you tell where it gets the name from? Look how big these flowers are. Oh, I'm, I just messed up the spider web. You can, might be able to see the strands. If I can get it to reflect. I'm sorry, spider. All right, anyways. Yeah, this is a really strong spider web, so hopefully it wasn't a baby. Well, anyways, come on, camera. So this is the small flower pawpaw, and this is as big as these flowers will get. So this is what they look like when they are mature. And same, if you didn't see the common pawpaw hand pollination video, I'll just go over it again. Pawpaw flowers start off female, like this one here. So botanically that means that they are capable of forming fruit. So when peop whenever people say female flowers, that means that it can accept pollen and form fruit, which is the plant form of a baby because it's got the seeds inside. So pawpaw flowers start off being able to accept pollen and they'll be green like this. And then if they don't receive pollen within a certain amount of time, they will continue to mature and get like this for this example. There's a little bug on my hand. Look at that little beetle. Oh, it fell off. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, if they don't receive pollen, they will mature and start shedding pollen instead. So they start out accepting pollen. If they don't get it, they will give it away instead. So, to hand pollinate them, you take pollen from a mature male flower, which in this case is these redder one, reddish brown ones, and then you move it to a female flower. And this one has this plant here, might be multiple plants, I'm not sure, but it's got another stem back there, you can see the flowers, and over here. And I don't know of any other ones that currently have flowers on them right now close enough that I could transport pollen over there unless I just took a whole flower off. But most of the small flower pawpaws here are further that way towards where they have the frisbee golf course. But most of those just got chopped back down to the ground for maintenance of the walking path so none of them have flowers. So we're gonna see if we can hand pollinate this one with just itself because I'm sure there are some more pawpaws back there and I feel like I got pictures of some last year there oh all right well here's a bonus there's a cute little Siamese cat right over there just napping in front of that giant tree you can see it just just casual as all heck that's a feral cat because we're in Savannah Georgia and nobody down here cares about cats so there's a lot of feral cats can't believe it hasn't run away yet, but it's cute. It's a really big Siamese cat, so where, where was I? Okay, yeah. Pawpaws usually don't can't pollinate themselves as an individual, but there's no other options right now for here, so we're just gonna take pollen from that, from this flower, and from the one on the end here from those ones and just pollinate the younger green flowers and see if anything happens. Last year this plant got a really big, really big for this species cluster of fruit, like this big. And I was hoping I would be able to collect some seeds from it, but uh, squirrels or possums or whatever else eats this beat me to it. So I don't, these flowers are so small, I don't even know if I just got any pollen. So I might just have to set the phone down. Okay, I'm gonna set the phone down like that. Try to get some more pollen. Oh, that one's not shedding pollen yet. So that one's too young. Let me see if this one. 
Okay, the one on the end here is. I'm just gonna have to pause the video because can't really be done with one hand with these tiny flowers, so BRB. Okay, successfully got some pollen from this one on the end here. And we're gonna pollinate this one right here. This is not gonna be the best video. This would work a lot better if I had somebody else to hold the camera, but And again, I have no idea if this will actually produce fruit because they usually can't just reproduce with themselves. You can't make a baby with just yourself. So now we're going to move over to this side because I don't, those ranks back there are just going to be too difficult to reach. And like I said, it's March. So I'm going to be walking around in the woods. Poke the leaves before you step and watch where you step because snakes are active right now. And there are rattlesnakes in Savannah, Georgia, so do not kill them if you find them. Just obviously give them their space and be respectful. They're just minding their own business. They don't want to be stepped on by a giant. Alright, so now you can see these flowers. But yeah, look how, look how big that is. That is as big as it's going to get. This one at the top here is shedding pollen. It's hard to get it on video because I can't really use flash on video. But you can tell from looking inside. Sorry, it's gonna have to be sideways for a second. So we got some pollen there. There, you can see it. It's on the end of there. And we're gonna pollinate. Um, let's just do the flower directly below. We might, as, we might as well. And again, I'm going to have to just pause the video because it, these flowers are too tiny, so I have to hold the branch still. So BRB again. Alright, so that second flower there was successful. Well, it got pollen on it. I don't know if it was successfully pollinated. And then I got some more pollen from that same flower again, and can you see the Siamese cat? So I'm just gonna walk this way, and then when I f if I find another small flower paw paw that is flowers, I'll pollinate it with the pollen from that flower, and that should work better for pollination. All right, so that'll be the next video. So bye bye.